In 2008, Hanneke de Bruyne was diagnosed with a myotrophic lateral sclerosis, also known as motor neurone syndrome. It's a progressive neurodegenerative disease. British physicist Stephen Hawking also suffers from the condition. New research now allows patients to communicate thanks to an implant inserted into the brain. So the electricity goes up when I move my hand. It's the same for someone who is paralyzed. The electricity will go up, but since the nerves are broken, the motor nerves, she can't move. But the electricity still goes up. So when it goes up, the signal is going into this sensor. It goes all the way down. So basically these go underneath the skull. And the wires are under the skin, all the way here, and this goes under the skin. So it's completely inside the body, no risk of infection after the surgery. The implant works by reading brain activity from the implanted electrodes and sending a signal down a wire to a device which looks like a pacemaker. This device communicates wirelessly to a computer, converting the signal to a click. It's the fact that you need this, this compute, special computer software to choose letters, that's the limiting factor. Basically, 90% of the time she's waiting until the right uh, part of the screen lights up so she can click it. And that's something that you can improve it a little bit, but you can't make it much faster. Based on her results, the Utrecht team says it's now hoping it will be able to reduce time spent in surgery and improve the software. They plan to expand the study to two more patients. Thank you.